morning, believers. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. All participants are muted and they can unmute themselves. Morning, family. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it. Father God, I thank you today as your word states where two or three are gathered together in your name. There you are in the midst. Father God, I thank you today that you are in the midst of every situation, every trial and every tribulation. Father God, I thank you today that you'll never leave us nor forsake us. Father God, I thank you today that your eyes are on the sparrow. Father God, I know that you're watching out for us. Father God, I thank you today that we trust you as your word says in Proverbs 3 and 5. To trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not to our own understanding. In all thy ways, we acknowledge you and you shall direct our path. Lord, I thank you today that you are the alpha and the omega. You are the author and the finish of our faith. Lord, your words in James 4, 8, that if we draw nigh to you, you will draw nigh to us. Father God, I thank you today is your words in Matthew 6 and 33, to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all else shall be added unto us. This day, Father God, we seek your will. We seek your way. Father God, this day we seek your plan. Lord, we seek your purpose. We seek your will. We seek your word. We seek your wisdom. Lord, we seek you. Lord, your words is that those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Father God, I thank you today as your word says, those who thirst and hunger for righteousness shall be filled. As a deer pants for water, Father God, we pant for your presence. Oh, do we need thee. Lord, I thank you today. But Father God, your words in Isaiah 26 and 3, for a mind stayed on you shall be kept in perfect peace. Father God, I thank you today for the peace that surpasses all understanding. Father God, I thank you today that you guard my heart and you guard my mind. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Matthew eleven twenty eight 28, come to me, all those who labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you, Lord, I thank you today that we rest in you. We lean on you and we abide in you. Lord, I thank you today as your words in John 15 to 7. If you abide in me and my word abides in you, you shall ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. Is there anything too hard for God? Father God, I thank you today that eyes have not seen, ears not heard, neither into the heart of man what God has in store for those who walk uprightly. Lord, I thank you today that Father God, your word said as David says, I've hid your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Joshua 1 8, that if we meditate on your word night and day, that we shall make our way prosperous and we shall have good success. Father God, I thank you this day that success is our heritage. Success is our legacy. Father God, I thank you today that you are my way maker. You are my air giver. Father God, I thank you today that you're an ever present help in a time of trouble. Father God, I thank you today is your words in Isaiah 54 and 17. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. No weapon shall have its intended end for what the enemy has made for bad. Lord, I know you're going to turn around for our good. Lord, I thank you today that Father God, your words in Psalms 37, 4 and 5, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit thy way unto him, trust also in him and he shall bring to pass. Is there anything too hard for God? Lord, I thank you today as your words in Ephesians 3 and 20. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we may ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Lord, your words in James 5 and 16, the fervent, effective prayer of a righteous man makes much power available, dynamic in its working. Lord, I thank you today for the dunamis power, the dynamite power that abides and resides on the inside of us. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Psalms 1 and 1. Blessed is a man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the path of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in that law, he does meditate day and night and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. His leaf shall not wither. His fruit shall come forth in due season and whatever he touches shall prosper. Lord, I thank you today as your words in 3 John 2, I wish above all things that you may prosper 
and be in health just as your soul prospers. Lord, I thank you today that the liberal souls shall be made fat. Lord, I thank you today that the giver grows. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Luke 6 and 38. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and runneth over. For the measure we give is the measure that we shall receive. Father God, I thank you this day. But Father God, we speak your word. Lord, I thank you today is your words in Proverbs 18 and 21. For death and life are in the power of the tongue, and we shall eat the fruit thereof. So this day, Father God, we speak life. We speak liberty. We speak healing. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Job 22 and 28. You shall decide. You shall decree. And it will be established for you. Lord, I thank you today as your words in 2 Corinthians 4 and 13. We have the same spirit of faith as those who believe and spoke. Therefore, we also believe and we also speak. Lord, I thank you this day. As Ezekiel said in Ezekiel chapter 37, God said, son, can these dry bones live? <laughs> Ezekiel said, Lord, I don't know. He says, son, I want you to prophesy to these bones. And the Bible says the bones started to move and come together. And then Ezekiel said, but Lord, there's no life in it. And he said, prophesy to the wind. My God, listen, believers, you have power in your tongue. The death and life is in the power of the tongue. Here's the key. You have to say it until you see it. You got to say it until you see it. Don't say what you see. Say what you want it to be. See, we are word containers. We are life givers. And with our words, we create life. Lord, I thank you today that we speak healing, we speak reconciliation, we speak manifestation, signs, wonders, and miracles. Father God, I thank you today as your words in Genesis 126. Let us make man in our image, in our likeness, give them power, give them dominion, give them authority. Believe it, this is what you're made of. Lord, I thank you today that we were fearfully and wonderfully made in your image and your likeness. And I know, Lord, you don't make junk. Lord, I thank you today that we stand on your word. For heaven and earth shall pass away, but your word shall remain. Lord, your word says in John 1 and 1, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And his name was Jesus. Lord, I thank you today that at the name of Jesus, every tongue will confess and every knee will bow. At the name of Jesus, demons tremble. Jesus, 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 the sweetest name I know. Lord, I thank you, Father God, for you are the lifter of my head. Lord, I thank you today that I didn't get up by accident, but I got up on purpose. And Lord, I know that you have a purpose and a plan for my life today. As your words in Jeremiah. I one five before the world was formed, I knew you, consecrated you, and set you aside for such a time as this. This is your time. Lord, I thank you today is your words in Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper, give you hope, and give you a future. God has a perfect plan for your life. You got to tap in, tap into purpose. Lord, I thank you today. But Father God, your words in Isaiah 55, 11, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return void, but it shall accomplish what I please. Lord, I thank you today, as your words is in Deuteronomy 20, that we are the head and not the tail. We are above and not below. We are blessed coming in and blessed coming out. Come on, come on. Decree this over your life. I am more than a conqueror. I will be the lender and not the bar. I will be above and not below. The Message Bible says this, I will be the top dog. <laughs> Lord, I thank you that we will be, I will, come on, confess, I will be blessed in the city. I will be blessed in the field. I will be blessed coming in, and I will be blessed coming out. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. My ladder shall be greater. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning time. Lord, I thank you that I will tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Lord, I know as your words in Psalms 23, yea, though I go through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? Second Timothy 1 7 says, for God has not given me a spirit of fear, 
but of power, love, and a sound mind. Lord, I thank you today that I will not be double-minded, that I have a stable mind. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Philippians 2, 5. Ooh, let this mind be in you that also was in Christ Jesus. Romans 12, 2 says this, do not be conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is the good and perfect and acceptable will of God for your life. Lord, I thank you that my mind is being transformed. Lord, I thank you as David said, created me a clean and a right heart, an upright. Lord, help me, Father God, to be what you call me to be. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Psalms 37, 4 and 5. Delight yourself in the Lord. And he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit thy way unto him. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. Lord, I thank you today. As your words in Psalms 37, 23, for the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Lord, I thank you today. As your words in Psalms 37 and 25, David said, I've been young and now I'm old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken nor their seed begging for bread. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do, you can do, we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. My God, Paul said in the Philippians 4.12, 4, 4, I've learned how to abase. I've learned how to abound. I've learned how to be up and I've learned how to be down. I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. Lord, I thank you that you are my rock, you are my salvation, you are my help, you are the great I am, you are Emmanuel, God with us. Lord, I thank you today for your spirit. Lord, I thank you today that your word says those who worship you shall worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord, I thank you today is your words in Galatians chapter six, do not get weary in well-doing, for in due season you shall reap what you have sown if you faint not. Second Timothy 4, 7 says, fight the good fight, finish the course and keep the faith. Fight the good fight, finish your course and keep the faith. Let's put on the armor. In the name of Jesus, we put on the whole armor of God that we may stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rules of darkness, world, and spiritual weakness in high places. Therefore, we take unto ourselves the whole armor of God that we may withstand the evil day. Having done all the stand, we stand therefore, having our loins girt about with truth. Your word, Lord, which is truth, contains all the weapons of our warfare, which are not carnal, but not through God to the pulling down of strongholds. We have on the breastplate of righteousness, which is faith and love. I feel the shot with the preparation of gospel of peace. In Christ Jesus, we have peace and pursuit, peace with all men. We are ministers of reconciliation, proclaiming the good news of the gospel. We take the shield of faith, wherewith we're able to quench all the fire darts of the wicked and the hell of salvation. Hold the thoughts, feelings, and purpose of God's heart, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, in the face of all trials, in the face of all tests, in the face of all temptations, in the face of all tribulations. We cut to pieces the snares of the enemy by speaking the Word of God, for greater is he than us than he that's in the world. Lord, this day, I thank you for the armor. Glory to God. Lord, I thank you right now that we understand and realize that we might be the only Bible somebody hears today. And we might be the only Jesus somebody sees today. So, Father God, I thank you that we will let our light so shine and draws all men and women to you. The Lord prayer says this, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Make it personal. Lord, give me this day my daily bread. And forgive me my trespass, as I forgive those who trespass against me. And lead me, Father God, not into temptation, but lift me, Father God, from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The prayer of Jabez said this, oh, that you would bless me indeed. Come on, don't fashion. Enlarge our territory. Lord, I thank you today for the land, the building, the resources. Lord, I thank you today for the financial deliverance that you are raising up for such a time as this. But this is our time. This is our season. Lord, I thank you today for divine hookups, increased promotion and favor with inventions, great ideas. Lord, I thank you for this day and this opportunity, Father God, to be used by you. Lord, I thank you right now. Hallelujah. For travel mercy and travel grace is going to highways, bowers, planes, trains, and all wheels. Lord, I thank you today that we are a family of faith and not of 
tragedy. Glory to God. Lord, I thank you right now, believers. As I pray for my family, I want you to pray for your family. Lord, I thank you today for my, for my wife, my rib, my good thing. Lord, I thank you for the blessing she is. I pray for my children, Jomo, Jemiah, and Josiah. Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus over their lives. Lord, I thank you this day that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. No weapon shall have its intended end for what the enemies made for bad. Lord, I know you'll turn around for the good. Lord, I thank you right now that you cover the church again to serve love first. I pray for my blood, everyone connecting by blood. I pray for every kingdom church doing kingdom business. I pray right now, Father God, for the sick and the shut in, the weak and the weary, the downtrodden, the hurt, the abused, the neglected, the backslided, the heathen. I pray for brothers and sisters behind bars, brothers and sisters being crucified for your name, brothers and sisters in the military harm's way. I pray for our leaders, local and national, give them wisdom to lead. I pray for our first responders, police officers, firefighters, ambulance workers. Lord, I thank you, Father God, for our teachers and our students. Cover them, Lord, administrators. Uh, cross guard workers, bus drivers, resource officers, Lord, cover them. Lord, I pray for all those in the medical field, Lord, cover them this day. These things, Father God, I ask in your son Jesus' name, I pray. I say amen, amen, amen. Well, family, I love you. Thank you for getting up with me this morning. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following. You could always follow me on the Facebook, Pastor Jomo, or my YouTube page, Jomo Prayer. Amen. Well, I love you to life. God bless you. Let's close. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God. May I be like you. You are the potter. We are the clay. Mold us and make us. This is what we pray. Change our heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change our heart, oh God. May we be like you. Hey, believers, this walk of faith is a daily walk. Do not be discouraged by yesterday. Don't worry about tomorrow. All you got to do is focus on today. And if God be for you, who or what can be against you? I love you to life. Have a tremendous Friday. You've never seen this Friday before. And God has great things in store for you. Now, before I go, so I'll let y'all know, if y'all don't know, I'm obviously not at home. I have an, um, I'm teaching this morning at the golf course. So, Bible study. Praise the Lord. Isn't it awesome that God would allow me to be teaching in a place <laughs> where, let me leave it alone. Amen. God has put me in incredible places where I can teach the word and God is glorified. So amen, amen, amen. Well, anyway, before I leave tonight, Friday night, my wife will be up. My, my wife and I will be on Friday night live. We're going to have, all, as, as usual, a great time. And this Sunday... Uh, we will, Charmaine and I will be teaching uh, a word that's going to bless your life. Okay, so it's going to be part one, the order of marriage. So all month long, uh, Charmaine and I will be teaching tag team. So we'll be, we'll be together and uh, we have props and everything else is going to be awesome. So can't wait to see your face in the place. I love your life. There's no prayer line Saturday. Um, last Saturday we did, but we're breaking the fast. But there's no prayer line Saturday or Sunday. If you want to, next time you'll see me is out tonight or Sunday morning. Well, I love you. Have a wonderful day. Let's close. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God. And be like you. You are the potter. I am the clay. Mold me and make me. This is what I pray. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God. May I be like you. Have a tremendous day. Remember, be salt, be light, keep your smile on, dust your shoulders off, let no devil steal your joy, this joy you have God gave you, and let no one take it away. I love you to life. Have a wonderful Friday, believers. God bless you. Bye-bye.